I'm going to tell a little story about this hive. I had a swarm move into a bait box that was sitting over there in the breezeway next to the tractor. And I moved it out to the bee yard. But the following day, a number of bees flew back and were looking for a place to go. And I put this box out there. And they all moved in. There's probably a three or four cups of bees, pound of bees, would be my guess. And they took up residency on the box. What I didn't know was, was this a separate swarm or was it just a bunch of bees that came back to the spot and decided to hang out waiting for the queen to come back as lost souls? Well, that's what it turns out to be. So when I have a moment, I'll open this box and I'll show you what's inside. But the second part of the story is last night I was at a bee meeting. By the way, this is sitting here in the driveway. I have a party tomorrow and they were over there and I systematically moved them every day to this point. And the bees were orienting on this box of balls, which is why it's sitting here next to it. And it's a little bit crooked, but what I'm going to do is just place them right here in the yard for the time being. I'm almost there. You know, three foot or three miles. I've been moving them three foot every day. So there you get to see it in practice. But back to the rest of the story. Inside this box is a frame with some bees on it. Let me see if I can pull it out and not disturb them too much. Last night I was at a beekeeper's meeting and we walked outside next to the hives where the beekeeper has and there was this little swarm, probably 200 bees on the... Sorry. And I was able to, we, someone else did it for me, get the queen. So this hive didn't have a queen and I promise the queen is right in there. She's underneath those couple bees. I'm going to blow on it a little bit, see if I can get her to scare out. But I'm going to give this queen to this box. There she is. She's just peeking underneath there. So I brought them home last night in this little plastic bucket. And I put these frames inside the bucket and they all crawled up onto the frames. So what I'm going to do is just secure this box over top of this one. And I'm going to let them melt together and hopefully they'll accept that queen. I don't know if that's a mated queen. I don't know the story behind it. It's from an after swarm would be my guess. And something is better than nothing. So we'll see how this turns out. But ultimately, ultimately, my hope is that I can build this colony into something this early summer and put them in this box down below. I don't think they're going to end up being a huge colony, but if I put them in this insulated nuke, I think I'd be able to overwinter them. So that's the story of this little thing that's going on this early summer. And we'll see how it plays out. One of the questions was, how was I going to introduce this queen? And we talked about this last night amongst all the beekeepers. I thought, you know, I could do the newspaper method where you combine the two colonies. But this colony is in so desperate need of a queen that I thought I could just literally introduce her directly. And that's what I did. If you saw the way she was placed in there... I literally just connected the two boxes and I'm assuming she's going to walk down in and they won't reject her. I'm hoping that's the case. We'll find out in a little while. In the grand scheme of things, if something happens where this colony doesn't work out, I can just find other options with it. But it's been a fun little experiment.